Watch the Powerball Drawing live tonight here on TV23. Covering the High Plains with news, weather, and information. From TV23 Studios in Sublet, this is High Plains Today. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. It is Wednesday. In fact, it is Ash Wednesday, February 10th, 2016. Welcome to High Plains Today on TV23. On today's show, we are going to recap everything that went on at International Pancake Day, starting with the uh, talent show on Saturday up through Miss Liberal and the race and all the activities yesterday. Now, let's take a look and see what's happening out there. An electrical failure involving a truck in the shop is to blame for the early Monday morning fire that caused more than $1 million in damage to Liberal Kenworth. Now, the Liberal Fire Department responded to the commercial fire after it was reported at about 4.05 a.m. on Monday. When fire crews arrived, they made an immediate offensive attack on the fire. Now, the fire was confined to the shop area of the business. There were no injuries in the fire, but there was extensive heat, smoke, and water damage to the shop area and extensive damage to several trucks. Three people were injured Friday evening in an accident about seven miles north of Guymon, Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol said a 2012 Ford Focus and a 2003 Chevrolet Tahoe were both southbound on Oklahoma Highway 136 when the Focus was making a left turn onto Texas County Road Zero. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol said that, uh, that time the Tahoe passed the Focus on the left and the Ford struck the Chevy, causing the Tahoe to roll two times. Neither the driver of the Ford, 20-year-old Catherine Jo Lindsay of Guymon, nor the Tahoe's driver, 31-year-old Janet Rubio of Guymon, were injured. Now, there were three passengers in the Tahoe who were hurt, however. The three were youths, and the names were withheld. Well, 28-year-old Summer Parsons, a physical education teacher at Garfield School in Liberal, won the Liberal leg of the International Pancake Race yesterday. But in only England, Leanne Fisher could run quicker and flip pancakes faster, setting a world record in the competition between the two cities. Now, Fisher had a time of 55.02. Previous record was set by only's Devin Byrne in 2014 with a 55.6. Parsons' time was 62.16. She beat her time from when she was last one in 2014 was 63.5. Now, Tuesday was the 67th year the competition had been held between Olney and Liberal. The score now stands with Liberal winning 37 times to Olney's 29. And the first in a series of potential improvements on US 83 in southwest Kansas was approved in January's bid letting. The $22.3 million T-Works expansion project in Haskell County calls for rebuilding six miles of US 83, replacing the junction of US 83, US 160, K 144 with an interchange and adding a set of passing lanes. Now, the project addresses one of many segments of the 70-mile corridor from Sublette to Scott City that were identified during a need study that KDOT began back in 2007. The Children's Initiative Fund would retain its current structure, a rebuff of a proposal from Governor Sam Brownback, but the governor would be able to delay pension payments to keep the state budget afloat under legislation approved Monday by the Senate's Budget Committee. Now, the Senate Ways and Means Committee voted 9-2 to two to send the budget adjustments to the full Senate. Lawmakers need to either reduce spending or boost revenue by more than $175 million to balance the budget for the fiscal year that begins July 1. The legislation also would restrict the University of Kansas from using public money to help finance construction projects. Lawmakers added additional funding for struggling Osawatomie State Hospital, which lost federal certification last fall, and with it up to a million dollars a month in federal funds. Now, with the committee's approval of the budget changes similar but separate budget proposals now await action in both the House and Senate. Debates could begin as early as this week. And that's a look at some of the stuff that's happening out there. We're going to come back and look at a warm and sunny forecast. It's going to carry us kind of into the weekend and into next week. You're watching High Plains Today on TV23 with host Chris Jewell. TV23's internet service and 4G live streaming provided by 
United Wireless. Coverage you deserve. Service you expect. United Wireless. You want to feel connected at one with your world. Informed, included, and inspired. So no matter where you are, when important things happen, we're here at all hours, in the moment, on every screen in your life. Your local TV and radio broadcasters. We investigate and inform, give back to the community, build the local economy, even save lives. America's number one source for news, weather, and information. And unlike any other news source, we're here, 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 and here. We are broadcasters, always here for you, wherever here may be. Text TV to 52886. Tell Washington local stations matter. I think someone at my friend's school has this thing called autism. My friend's brother's son has autism. My neighbor's son has autism. My son has autism. Autism is getting closer to home. Today, one in 110 children is diagnosed with autism. That's a 600% increase in the last 20 years. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. The local weather forecast for the High Plains. Welcome back. Look at all that sunshine out there as we look off to the northeast on the TV23 Tower Cam. Lots of sunshine, lots of warm temperatures. As we take a look at the readings here at the TV23 studio, 66 degrees already. 23% relative humidity. Winds are out of the west at 16, not too bad. Barometric pressure is falling. Now look at these temperatures around the area. It's going to be warm today. Look at that, everybody in the 60s and 70s, well, you get up to Hayes, still probably a little snow on the ground up there. 55 degrees, Lamar at 59, but everybody else, look at that, Guymon already at 73 degrees. I think we might see some records broken today, not sure, but I'm thinking really. That's why the humidity is so low, we got high temperatures and lots of low dew points out there. Look at that, a lot of dry air. Looking at our current winds around the area, everybody pretty much out of the west, northwest, in the teens, well, Guyman not so windy at 9, but everybody else in the low teens. So that's not too bad out there. It makes it a very pleasant day. Looking at our highs and lows, as recorded at the Garden City Regional Airport, yesterday, Pancake Day in Liberal, we had a high of 52 degrees. 85 back in 1976. Low last night, 23. Minus 9 back in 2011. No new precipitation as of recently. Looking at our forecast for today, lots of sunshine, high of 73. Remember, it is February 10th, 73. Winds are going to be out of the west, northwest at 16. Could be gusting up around 25, 26 miles an hour today. Tonight, clear, 28 degrees for the low. That's not too bad either for February. North, northwest winds at 11 miles an hour. Then tomorrow, we're going to cool off a little. It's going to be 63 degrees. Lots more sunshine. Winds are going to lay down a little bit, though. They're going to be out of the north-northwest at 9, switching around later in the day to the south-southwest. Tomorrow night, 29 degrees, mostly clear. Winds will be out of the south at 8. Then we get into the 7-day. Look at that. 70s, 60s. The coldest day is going to be on Saturday. 53 degrees for the high. Still not bad for February. Then we're going to cl start climbing back up to some 60s as we head into midweek next week. Highs are going to be in the low upper 20s to the low 30s. That's a look at the weather. Be back with the markets and Pancake Day highlights after this.
A boy born in Joplin, Missouri was fascinated by anything with wheels and a motor. The odds of him going on to fascinate millions with his talent? One in 260,000. The odds of this born racer having 157 career top 10 finishes in NASCAR? One in 125 billion. The odds of him winning both the Daytona 500 and the Brickyard 400 in the same year? One in 195 million. The odds of a child being diagnosed with autism? One in 88. I'm NASCAR driver Jamie McMurray, and my niece has autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Chris Jewell, host of High Plains Today, a 30-minute news and information program that airs at noon weekdays right here on TV23. Hey, do you think you have an idea for something that would make a great segment? Somebody that would make a great interview? What about a community event that needs highlighting? Let us know here at the station. Email us, news at kbgltv.com. Same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. And welcome back. Well, we spent pretty much Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday in Liberal working at the uh, International Pancake Day festivities. Started off on Saturday afternoon and evening with the talent portion of the uh, International Pancake Day. They had uh, 20 acts that went on. They were in four age groups, Tiny Tots, the Junior Division, Senior Division, and the Adult Division. You had everything from singing and dancing, and you even had a ventriloquist. And this young lady won the People's Choice Award that was also given out. Um, Lots of dance groups, uh, from dancing images in liberal, lots of singing. I mean, it was a really good show. It lasted about, oh, two, two and a half hours. 
And that was the extent of the Pancake Day Talent Show. Had entrance from pretty much, oh, about a five, six county area around Liberal, which was well represented. So it was a good time had by all. They did compete for cash prizes in all the divisions. So that was another plus. So you show up, you're one of the five entrants, and you had a chance of winning some money. Well, that's not too bad right there. All right, and then after the talent show on Saturday, we moved into Sunday afternoon, and the Miss Liberal pageant was held at the Liberal High School in the James Mascus Auditorium. Had seven young ladies from Liberal Seward County area that were competing to be crowned Miss Liberal. They all competed in the private interview, the swimsuit and fitness, evening gown, on stage question, and talent. Liberal senior Gabby Amperan, who we interviewed on Monday's show, was crowned the new Miss Liberal, so she will spend her next year as the reigning Miss Liberal. Miss Kansas, Hannah Marie Wagner, and the reigning Miss Liberal, Allison Nondorf, were there to do the honors and hand out Gabby her Miss Liberal sash and her new crown. She will represent Liberal in Pratt at the Miss Kansas pageant coming up in June. All seven girls did a wonderful job. It was a good time. Also, a good time. <laughs> All right. Then we moved into Tuesday. Tuesday was the big day. And if you watched us yesterday, you saw we were live from the uh, breakfast. But then it was time for the big race. First, the men's pacer race was at 11.40. They had 15 entrants in this race. And you can see they're coming down the stretch. Well, that man running right there who kind of put the kick on her at the end, that is Kelby Tomlinson. He is the current second baseman for the San Francisco Giants. Yes, those San Francisco Giants, Major League Baseball's San Francisco Giants. We had a chance to chat with Kelby after the race. Gentlemen. You got your wind? Huh? Just barely. All right. Well, here we are. Men's Pacer Race, 67th International Pancake Day. I'm standing here at the winner, second baseman, San Francisco Giants, Kelby Tomlinson. You kind of gave a big kick there towards the end. Yeah. Uh, everything's fast, man. It was a tough race. I'm still trying to catch my breath, but uh, try to save a little bit for the end and kick it up at the end. So is this kind of like running a inside the park home run? Yeah, probably pretty close. <laughs> Either way, both both ways you're going to be out of breath by the end. But was it fun? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's always fun to compete and try to win. So any type of competition. So I enjoy that kind of stuff. Is this your first time running in the Pacer race? Second, we ran it last year too. You did, okay. And my phone's ringing. How about that? All right, Kelby, thanks a lot for All talking right, to us. It. Go catch your breath. Have some water. All right, thanks. You bet. All right, we're getting ready for the International Pancake Day 67th annual race. About to start, we're about 45 seconds away, right here downtown Liberal in front of the Memorial Library. Once this race starts, I'm going to turn it over to Brock Kappelman. He's the voice of KSCB Radio. And he's going to know how to do this. He's done this a bunch. And we're about ready to start. Our media truck is moving. Remember a couple honorary racers, Hannah Wagner, Miss Kansas, Gabby Amperon, Miss Liberal, and Tessie Barnett, who has raced in this event 12 times. We're closing in on 11.55, the official start time of the 67th International Pancake Day race. Gun in the air, Joe DeNoyer, and away we go. The 67th Pancake Day race is underway. And Gabby Amperon, our honorary member, is out to a lead, but uh, the official leader, Summer Parsons. Summer Parsons has the lead around the corner onto Fifth Street. 
Gabby Amperon's out in front, big smile on her face. Gabby uh, uh, is Miss Liberal, so she is only an honorary runner. So on the inside, that's Summer Parsons, who won the event two years ago, a PE teacher at Garfield. She currently is the leader. Now around the corner we come, down Lincoln Avenue. It continues to be Summer Parsons out in front. Summer Parsons is your leader at this point. As we head down the final stretch, the crowd is cheering the ladies on now. It's Summer Parsons way out in front. Gabby Amperon, Miss Liberal, is in front, but she is only an honorary racer. Here. And Summer Parsons, Summer Parsons wins Pancake Day on the liberal swing of it. All right, Summer Parsons, your winner. Cheer them on, it's a long race on windy day. Still have racers out on the course. Third, Summer Parsons wins. Congratulations, Summer. Now this is what, two times? Two times. Two times, yes, not in a row, but. Had a baby last year, came back this time. One more racer yet to I'm, come. I'm surprised at myself, but I, I'm excited. So You looked good coming down the stretch, Thank I just you. want to say. Thank you. <laughs> I'm tired. All right, there's your race winner for this year, Summer Parsons. She's a two-time winner, not back-to-back. -back. She took a year off, but she did win this year. All right, we're talking with the current Miss Liberal. <laughs> the newly elected, newly crowned Miss Liberal, Gabby Gam Amperon. <laughs> ah, you told me yesterday on the show. Oh, I am so out of shape. I, I am. I really am. I, you know, track season is in about three weeks, and this morning at the breakfast, all my track coaches were giving me pep talks, wanting me to run my best here. So I said, why not? <laughs> How out of shape? You, I'm not believing you anymore, <laughs> little miss. Better pay health promoting. Good that job, felt though. out of shape. I'm telling you, I might have been first, but I felt really out of shape. Is that a long 415 yards? <laughs> yes, definitely. We came right that first quarter, and you were out there leading the way. I was impressed. I oh, was man. impressed. All right, good job. Thank Gabby. you. All right, we're standing here with our rating Miss Kansas, Anna Wagner. Why are you laughing like I that? You finished. I would have finished. I did well, it. The only thing is, remember we were talking to Gabby. Oh, I'm so out of shape. I can't run this. Yeah, look at who was leading. Coming I know. Down the What's I know. Up with that? I don't know. I'm. My legs are already locking up. I'm through here. She. She was. <laughs> but you made it the whole way. So what? Yeah. How was your experience? It was fun. It was fun. I forgot how to run. Um, <laughs> that was hard. We need to get people chasing you. You do. You do. <laughs> I need people yelling behind me. I need a, a crew with pitchforks and fire. This one right here, though, she lied to us. She, she didn't did. even buddy up with you and just stroll and wave, did she? We started off at the beginning, and we were so cute, and then she took off, and all I saw oh, was, yeah, her, there she I was, saw was her hair. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. It was fun. All right, Hannah, thank you very much. Thank you. We do not have a time there you have it. There's your winners up there on the stage receiving their flowers, et cetera, from uh, Mark Strange. And uh, there you see Summer Parsons, her mother and her grandmother, and her oldest daughter. Now she took off last year uh, because she has a new daughter that she was that was she was pregnant last year, so she couldn't run. So I'm thinking she did okay. You know what? If I'd have run in the men's pacer race or any of this, I probably still wouldn't have finished by now. But all in all, the shriving service went off without a hitch. International phone call, good time and liberal. If you ever have a chance, if you haven't been. Get down there on Shrove Tuesday and check out International Pancake Day. Well, that's our look at International Pancake Day from Liberal America. Stick around. I'll be back with more after this. When you do business with United Wireless, you're doing business with people living and working right here in Southwest Kansas, not someone halfway across the world. We're proud of the fact that every day we serve our friends and neighbors, our health care providers and hairdressers, technicians, farmers, and local retailers. You are the people who make Southwest Kansas great. And for all you do, we believe you should be treated with the utmost respect. We are United Wireless, and we are Southwest Kansas proud. You want to feel connected at one with your world. Informed, included, and inspired. So no matter where you are, when important things happen, we're here at all hours in the moment on every screen in your life your local tv and radio broadcasters we investigate and inform give back to the community build the local economy 
even save lives. America's number one source for news, weather, and information. And unlike any other news source, we're here, 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 and here. We are broadcasters, always here for you, wherever here may be. Text TV to 52886. Tell Washington local stations matter. In the small town of Elmira, New York, a boy was born into an all-American family. The odds of him achieving his dream in the fashion industry? One in 23 million. The odds of having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 88. I am Tommy Hilfiger, and my family is affected by autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash sign. And welcome back. Hey, you know what? KU played West Virginia last night at Allen Fieldhouse in Lawrence. They won 75 to 65. That makes a three-way tie in the Big 12 Conference with OU West Virginia and KU. Now, Landon Lucas had a big game last night. He was in double figures in rebounds last night. He needs to come up big because KU travels to Oklahoma for a big showdown on Saturday. That'll probably play out the lead in the Big 12 Conference. Let's take a last look at our weather before we get out of here on this Wednesday. Temperature right now, 69 degrees. You know we're going to see 70s. Already seeing 70s in the southern part of the viewing area. 19% the relative humidity winds are out of the west at 16. Barometric pressure is falling. Look at that seven day. We're looking pretty nice. Saturday is going to be the coldest day. High only 53. But remember, folks, it is February. Go out and make it a great Wednesday. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Keep up to date with the latest information from TV23 on our Facebook page, ADGL TV. Hi, Chris Jewell, host of High Plains Today, a 30-minute news and information program that airs weekdays at noon right here on TV23. We talk about news, we talk about sports, we talk about weather, we're even going to talk entertainment. We'll have live guests right here on set with me. So, every day at noon, tune in High Plains Today. We'll see you then. Weekdays, here on TV 23.